By investing in R&D at Quest, we're able to not only develop new applications which can add value to the healthcare system, but we're also able to engineer those solutions so that they can be of very high quality and lower cost over time. The Salmon Capistrano Nichols Institute is one of the research hubs. We have multiple across the country. Uh, this happens to be one of the largest. And so we will develop the uh, cutting edge assays right here. We test with thousands, hundreds of thousands of samples. And once we say thumbs up, this is all good, then it will be moved out throughout the company. What works for one part of the company, we bring it to other labs such as Las Vegas Lab, which helped us reduce our turnaround time. Over 95% of our work is completed before 8 a.m. every day. We're lucky to have almost every technology that is relevant in diagnostic testing today. Testing that uses molecular methods for infectious diseases, advanced mass spectrometry to measure small molecules and proteins, next generation sequencing to do genetics, and we're continually improving the quality and scale of those technologies. To me, advanced diagnostics is a combination of two factors. There's a personalized medicine factor, where we're actually looking at your genome, for example, and your phenome, and how you're gonna to respond to a drug. And then there's replacing older technologies which may have flaws or weaknesses in them with newer technologies that come along. Liquid biopsy, a very high-end area that we believe is gonna have a major impact on uh, oncology. Our informatics, huge amount of informatics work and then we move over into biomarker discovery and biomarker analysis so for example Alzheimer's disease all of those things combined is what puts us to the forefront genetic testing is complicated and so even the results are complicated and a lot of the doctors that are ordering testing now aren't genetics experts we're there to translate it into usable information so that they can explain that to their patients when we're talking to a health plan we can explain why our test needs to be done needs to be covered and the benefits around it if patients need that testing they're really only going to get it if it's a covered benefit and utilizing my team to help explain that goes a long way in making positive coverage decisions that benefit the patients. One of my groups here at SJC develops a lot of automation that gets tested initially here. We're in a position to deliver technologies and automate them throughout our system. That now allows the high-skilled humans to actually apply brain and be using their degrees or advanced degrees to look at the data at the end of it rather than sorting samples. The advanced technology capabilities that we have contribute to our ability to deliver solutions to the population. One example would be our home-based self-collection kits. And all they have to do is prick their finger, put it in the mail, and send it back to get the result. The level of effort that that person has to go through to actually do that drops, and you are going to catch some people that weren't getting checked. And so by having technology like this, we can prevent chronic disease and we can better manage chronic disease, which accounts for 70% of our costs of our healthcare system. We're gonna be able to target tests and treatment specifically to an individual. We talk about personalized medicine, and what does that mean? Well, that's what we're doing today, and it's gonna expand a much larger scale. Our future is only as good as our ability to bring new tests and differentiations to the marketplace to help patients, to help clinicians. That is our product. We have the full menu here of testing. We also have the R&D people that can answer questions. We have physicians that can answer questions. We have our PhD directors that can and our genetic counselors. The level of expertise, passion, professionalism is second to none. I've never worked anywhere, whether it be in pharma or biotech, that could beat this place. Our scientists spend a lot of time engineering our solutions to continually improve the quality, the automation, the throughput. There are very few companies in the world who can compete with us on that in the future.